Welcome to the Military News Channel. Russia's defense ministry says 23 civilians were killed in a Ukrainian missile attack in the city of Donetsk. Meanwhile, the Ukrainian military denies carrying out an attack on the region. Donetsk is an area that has been controlled by pro-Russian rebels since 2014. Denis Pushilin, head of the Donetsk People's Republic, said residential areas were damaged. People were queuing near ATMs and standing at bus stops. Children were among the dead, Pushilin added. However, the Ukrainian military quickly denied the attack. This is clearly a Russian rocket or other munition. There's no point in even talking about it. Ukrainian military spokesman Leonid Matyukin told a televised news conference. Both the death toll and the incident could not be independently verified. Reports of the attack came as Ukrainian and Russian negotiators met for the fourth round of talks since Russia invaded its neighbor on February 24. Talks ended after hours of no breakthrough, with Russian President Vladimir Putin saying the goal of his war in Ukraine, which he described as a special military operation, was the demilitarization and denazification of the Ukrainian government. He claimed Kyiv had committed genocide against the Russian-speaking population of the Donetsk and Luhansk regions, collectively known as the Donbass where the Ukrainian army has been battling Russian-backed separatists since 2014. Ukraine denies the accusations. The conflict, which erupted after rebels seized parts of the Donbass and declared themselves the Donetsk and Luhansk People's Republics, has killed more than 14,000 people, including soldiers, civilians and rebel fighters. The crisis between Russia and Ukraine is still heating up. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky even warned his country could abandon its decades-long promise to become a non-nuclear state, if Russia continues to threaten it. Previously, Ukraine joined the 1994 Budapest Memorandum and gave up its nuclear weapons in exchange for security guarantees. He said that Ukraine tried to initiate consultations with the guarantor countries of the Budapest Memorandum three times but all to no avail. Russian President Vladimir Putin has set a target for the country's military strike against Ukraine and it is he who will decide when the operation ends. Kremlin spokesman Dmitry Peskov said the decision would be based on the results and benefits of a military strike. The operation had a purpose and had to be achieved, the official said, when asked by reporters when the offensive would end. Putin said he had ordered Russian troops to attack Ukraine to demilitarize and as he put it, denazify, the country. He claimed Russia's national security was compromised by NATO's encroachment on Ukraine. He further stated that Russia is obliged to protect the breakaway republics of Donetsk and Lugansk from further attacks by Ukrainian forces. Moscow recognizes both entities as sovereign states, Russia is determined to neutralize Ukraine's military potential which has increased rapidly in recent times, including with active assistance from foreign countries. Peskov rejected the idea that Russia was in the process of occupying Ukraine, saying the Russian invasion had a limited purpose of protecting Russia and its separatist territories. He said the future of Ukraine would be determined by the Ukrainian people themselves. Thank you all for watching this video. Don't forget to like, comment if you like and subscribe to always update videos on this channel.